I'm Father David Kunz, a pastor here in the Diocese of La Crosse, interim president of one of our Catholic school systems, a former rector of a college seminary, and a member of the Sexual Review Board for the Diocese of La Crosse. The Safe Environment Program was mandated by the Charter for the Protection of Children and Young People. It really encompasses many of the programs already in place here in the diocese since the early 1980s. The purpose of the Safe Environment Program is to safeguard our children and our young people. The program itself has two major features. First, the screening of all persons who have access to our children and young people. And secondly, the education of, of the Safe Environment Program with individuals as well as our children. In terms of screening, the Safe Environment Program calls for the screening of the following groups. First, all ordained ministers, both priests and permanent deacons, priests from the diocese, priests who serve from outside the diocese, Secondly, all professional employees, full-time and part-time, whether they be in the school, directors of religious education, all diocesan employees. Last of all, all volunteers, whether the volunteers be in our schools, in our religious education programs, or in our youth ministry programs. These persons are all screened prior to their employment, or their volunteer activity with the, with the church. We use the following tools to help us screen all of these individuals. Basic criminal background checks are run on all of them. Some are subject to a comprehensive criminal background check, priests, deacons, teachers. We also use the daycare licensing agency because the diocese has daycare centers within, within the diocese itself. We also utilize the Sexual Offender Registry, the CCAP, which is a website which provides court records, both criminal and civil records. The application for employment is also a tool which is used to screen. If the need arises, we will even check the criminal record itself so as not to prejudice an individual in terms of employment. The second feature of the Safe Environment Program is the educational component. Priests, deacons, all school personnel, all volunteers, parents, and most especially all children are the focus of this educational part. The means that we use is the program itself in our schools and in our religious education program. We also utilize the Dyson paper, the Catholic Times. Any videos, this video in and of itself is an educational tool. We also utilize our parish bulletins and any other brochures. All of this is in an effort to safeguard our children and our young people. And all of us take that very seriously.